Hey folks, Nathan here from the Star Wars Timeline Gold, Star Wars Beyond the Films, and the Star Wars Gaming Podcast, Cloud City Casino at StarWarsReport.com, bringing you a look at the newest wave, the Jabba's Realm wave of Imperial Assault. We've already looked at the large expansion for $60, and in that expansion we had a Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight deployment card and again a token. As always, Fantasy Flight Games has supplemented this with an ally pack, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, which gives you the same deployment card plus a miniature instead of a token, and then more game materials. This one, because it's only one miniature, runs $10. So we have here an identical deployment card, a new skirmish upgrade, Motivation, and then here's Luke. Right. Face is a little weird, frankly. We now have a Jedi Knight version of Luke here. We have a side mission. A light in the darkness. We have our three command cards, Blitz, Positioning Advantage, and Parry. We have our two skirmish mission cards here, Power Surge and Supply Raid, which both take place on the Dune Sea. We have our rule supplement, which includes our maps. Notice here, based on the little red marker, that the Dune Sea and, on the other side, A Light in the Darkness, both require the Jabba's Realm expansion to have the map tiles that you need to build those maps. You will not be able to just pick this up and use the skirmish missions without also picking up Jabba's Realm. That is an important consideration when you're trying to purchase new ally and villain packs. And of course, we just have the pack packaging excuse me, materials here. Nice little add-on. It's good to see Luke back again in stronger form. That said, of course, this is an optional purchase because... If you pick up Jabba's Realm, you do have the deployment card and the token already. But who doesn't like a nice Luke miniature? Especially for only 10 bucks compared to the 15 of the other ones in this wave. Speaking of them, we're checking out Captain Taro next. 